Sean Strickland is starting to feel censored by the UFC. 2023 was the biggest year of the 33-year-old middleweight's 34-fight career and it's not close. Strickland started his run in MMA as an unbeaten 15-0 prospect and put together a strong six-fight UFC winning streak from October 2018 to July 2022. That latter run didn't culminate in a world title like his three-fight stretch last year did. Strickland captured 185-pound gold over Israel Adesanya with a wildly impressive unanimous decision effort this past September. Strickland lost his first title defense in January when tasked with Drikus Duplessis. The split decision result was a competitive one that the former champion still believes should have gone his way. Now that an immediate rematch with Duplessis is in question, Strickland sees it as a way of the promotion potentially keeping his extremely unfiltered personality out of the mandatory spotlight. 2023 was the biggest year of the 33-year-old middleweight's 34-fight career and it's not close. I don't really talk to UFC much, Strickland told the schmo. UFC is financed by, you got Bud Light, all these massive corporations that even though Dana might be like, hey, I let Sean say what he wants, there's a lot of very wealthy people telling him to shut me up. So when they reprimand me, understand they reprimand you guys. Ahead of his most recent bout at UFC 297 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Strickland had one of the more controversial media days in recent memory. The now former title holder bashed the country and hurled some insults at the media while sharing some thoughts on the LGBTQ community. Ultimately, no repercussions came Strickland's way, and business carried on as usual during fight week. Well, except for the loss, which wasn't on Strickland's agenda. Dana said I won, Joe Rogan said I won, we all know I won, Strickland said. I went to Canada and I fought in front of the commies and they shafted me. Despite his masculine demeanor and alpha mentality, Strickland highlighted his reoccurring mental struggles in a social media video this week. He hasn't been shy to be vulnerable in the public eye since his rise to fame late last year, and after a brief run with the title, Strickland hasn't seemed to let things change him, which was a part of his message. Circling back to the mention of Adesanya, the former two-time champion looks like the likely first challenger for Duplessis even though his last fight was the Strickland loss. Always down to fight any opponent sent his way, Strickland is more concerned about redemption against the South African than anything else. I'm at a good point in my life, I don't even have to fight, Strickland said. I want to fight Drikus, it needs to happen, and we need to find out who won. I never cared about the belt and I still don't. The world thought I won, the striking thought I won. You beat me fair and square, I'll put the belt around your waist myself.